The curse has finally been lifted. Yandori Chan can get her man and live happily ever after with Senpai. Or so you'd like to think. Fun Girl, if you can even call her fun, says that we will lose everyone. Anyone we ever loved. Anyone we ever cared about. We will lose them all. Oh, hell no, honey. Nobody tells me who I can lose. Senpai will be mine. I will live happily ever after. And you will be stuck in your demonic realm, you bitch. Today, we need to prove to Senpai we can be a great friend. Today, we need to show him we can be a much better friend than Osana ever was. And then... We the time is right. We will date his ass. Hey, 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 Roland Rasbowski here, and welcome back to Yandere Simulator 2, the sequel of a visual novel. And oh, baby, it's time to get out of that dreaded friend zone. We have thwarted info chance plans. We have freed the ghost girl, and now it's time to get close to our senpai. And we will live happily ever after. If not, we'll just kidnap him. That's normal, right? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for all the support shown on these videos. It's insane. We're hitting like 2,000 likes on every single episode. I mean, the first ones all have 3,000 likes. You're absolutely killing it. So guys, if you're hyped for today's episode, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Let's try and shoot for 2,000 beautiful likes, and we'll jump straight in. Woo! Oh, it's a beautiful day outside. I can hear the birds chirping away, the insects flying around, and well, the romance is definitely in the air, and me and Senpai are definitely gonna get it on by this beautiful fountain. As always, Paparazzi was a very naughty boy and decided to leave off the last episode with a bit of a cliffhanger that, as always, you got a bit salty over. Don't you know, ladies and gentlemen, that cliffhangers are the way to keep series running? Paparazzi needs that YouTube revenue, you know? Plus, it takes about six hours to edit these videos. Have some respect. <laughs> no, seriously, though, I absolutely love that you're wanting more and more of these as we go along. But at the same time, I want you guys to be feel like you're a part of the series. And that's why I asked you, what answer should we pick out of the two here? Not as beautiful as you, or this place is beautiful. And the vast majority at the time of recording this video have all said, this place is beautiful. And I agree with you, because if we went straight in there with not as beautiful as you, then we're trying to force the situation. We're trying to force ourselves upon Senpai, and he's not feeling great at the moment. So we're going to go, oh, this, this, this place is definitely beautiful. Heh. Looks like we have the same opinion. There we go, guys. Thank you very much. And that's exactly why I wanted your input. Look at us working together as the finest ass team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Taro Yamada will remember that. Anyway, did you enjoy studying in the morning? <laughs> Uh, I did. I, di I did. Yes, I did enjoy studying in the morning. Of course I did. Uh, do you think I would say I didn't? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Taro Yamada will remember that. Oh. Did we just straight up lie to us? Did he catch us in a lie? Damn it! Never lie, ladies and gentlemen, you always get caught. Why did you want to be alone at lunchtime? I always saw you at the plaza reading your book or drawing in a notebook. Ugh. This week hasn't been going good for me for now, and I just wanted to be alone. I, I don't know why, but I, I just wanted to. Well, sent up, uh, Taro, I know exactly how to cheer you up. Huh? Wait! Ayano grabs Taro's arm and runs with him. Ayano, Aishi, and Taro Yamato arrive at the running track of Akademi High School. Ayano knew that Taro liked sports, so it would be nice if they had a little bit of a run together. And get a nice sweat on, you know what I'm saying. So, you want me to have a run with you? Of course! I, I want to cheer you up, so having a little run together would really make you happy. Actually, Ayano is right here. <laughs> As scientifically speaking, running produces chemicals in the body that are linked with happiness, so the more exercise you do, the more likely you are to be uh, happy, as they say. Thank you very much for that, Science Bowski. Well, you do have a point. I once had a run with a sports club leader, Asuruto, and obviously I lost to her. <laughs> I'll just warn you, I am a little bit slow. <laughs> That's all right. We're gonna have a run to make you feel a little bit happier. I think this can actually work. But let's get prepared. On your mark, get set, go! Ayano and Taro start to run. However, Ayano is faster than Taro and she is winning the race. Taro is doing everything he can to keep up with her, but he is not as fast as Ayano. Ha! You're too slow, loser. I know, I know. <laughs> they continue to run. Ayano was still not tired. However, Taro was a little bit tired. I... I could finish the race and leave him behind, but I could also let him keep up with me. If I finish the race, maybe he could be impressed with how fast I am. But if I keep up with him, maybe he'll be happy that I didn't leave him behind. Oh, finish the race or keep up with Taro. Finish the race or keep up with Taro. Now, do I just exert my dominance on his ass? Do I just show him who is the Mac Daddy here? Or do I be friendly? Ladies and gentlemen, it is answer time in the comment section below. What would you do? Leave him in the dust? Or would you chat with him as we uh, slowly jogged around the court? Go on. Put your answers down below. I'm gonna say keep up with Taro. This isn't some kind of competitive race. This isn't some kind of macho mo sports style thing. There's no prizes to be won. 
Well, actually, no, there is a prize to be won, and uh, we'll be leaving him in the dust if we try and complete the race. So I think we're gonna keep up with Taro, chat to him, and maybe scope out his booty because when the cheeks are just moving, while the run is just, just too much to handle. Cheeks! Ayano slows down a little bit to keep up with Taro. I didn't want to leave you behind. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed. A few minutes later, Ayano and Taro finish the race together. Even though Ayano was in front of Taro so she could win the race, they were still close to each other. <laughs> Look at her, she's just uh, covering both faces there. She's like, I want to kick his ass, I want to kick his ass, I want to kick his ass, but at the same time I need to be close to him. I'll beat him by a tiny little bit to make him think like he had a chance. At the same time, Taro was so tired he could barely talk. I... I, I, <clears throat> I, I, I like this race, uh, Ayano. <laughs> um, I'm glad you liked it. Taro Yamada will remember that. Anyway, uh, since you're tired, I, th I think we should rest now, right? <laughs> of course, I'm too tired to even say something. Oh, let's get a rest. I'm pooped, man. Ayano and Taro get out of the run track. They sit on the grass and rest. A few minutes pass and Taro notices something. He notices something in the distance, staring at him. Hey, what's, what's that over there? Taro Yamada walks away and Ayano follows him. They end up seeing... A cute kitten! Oh, look how cute he is, a cute little kitten! The kitten was staring at Taro Yamada and it wasn't moving. Oh, what a cute little kitten! Oh, it's so cute! How did it end up here at Academy? I have no idea. Oh, I really love cats. Oh, I love cats too, Taro! I love cats. Secretly, in real life, Paparaz loves dogs more, but for this purpose, I love cats too. Oh, the pussy. All about the pussy cat. Oh, I wish I could have a cat. Why don't you just bring this cat home then? My mother doesn't like cats. Oh, no, I understand. <laughs> Ayano smiles. Taro Yamada will remember that. Ayano, what time is it? Ayano checks her cell phone. It's 1.16 p.m. Time's passed fast. In 14 minutes, classes will begin again. <laughs> the man's on his time schedules, man. He's good at math, too. And I know exactly what we could do in the meantime. Ayano grabs Taro's arms and runs with him. Ayano brings Taro Yamada to the maze of Academy High School. Sometimes students come to the maze to see what they could find there, and other students just entered in the maze for fun. No one knew why there was a maze at the school. <laughs> you, you want me to enter the, the maze? Yeah, why not? It will be fun, Taro. I, 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 I don't want to. I remember that one time Osana lost her phone charm in this maze. I, I think it was a bad idea to enter the maze. Don't be afraid, it will be fun. Nothing will happen, I promise you. I think, I think we should reassure him here. Don't be afraid, it will be fun. Kind of looks like we're telling him, we're just like, <laughs> don't be a wimp. Who's the girly man here? Don't be a baby! So I think we should go for nothing will happen, I promise you. Reassure him, let him know it's gonna be okay, but hey, that's just my decision. What would you do? Look, buddy, nothing will happen to you, I promise. After all, I'll be with you. Well... I will trust you then. Let's go to the maze. Ayano notices that Taro Yamada is not afraid anymore, and he is happy. Taro Yamada will remember that. We nailed that one. We nailed that one. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got that one right too. I love that this series is so interactive. I love that you guys join in with the fun as well. It's just damn awesome. The two students enter the maze. They walk around trying to find the end of the maze and then find a way to get out of it. This would definitely be fun. While walking, Taro Yamada finds something. Interesting. It was a manga on the ground. Oh, we found a manga in the maze. Well, this, that doesn't look like a manga. That looks like a hentai. That's a naughty manga. That's a naughty manga. Oh, cover your eyes, senpai. You will not be looking at other women, bud. This is definitely interesting. Ayano loves the filth. Why is there a manga around here? I think someone was in here and accidentally lost their manga. You may be right. Do you know what manga this is? Pop quiz time, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Life No Yokai Story, a cherry touch. Huh, I don't know. I don't think it is Life Note or Yokai Story. I think it's Cherry Touch. I think it's Cherry Touch, but I'm not great. Now, Life Note is obviously Death Note, which is a fantastic anime. I'd like, I, I've watched that about a million times because it's just so damn good. Yokai Story kind of played the game a little bit, and Cherry Touch, I have no idea what even that is a reference of. But I'm gonna go Cherry Touch. I'm gonna go Cherry Touch. Of course it is Cherry Touch. Uh, no. Oh, boss. <laughs> it is Yokai Story. How's that Yokai? How's that Yokai Story? That's about cute little animals, not naked girls. If Yokai Story was about naked girls, I would have finished the game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, <laughs> whoopsie. Taro Yamada will remember that. F f f 
What? Gotta be damn perfect for you, don't I, Taro? I'll never live up to your high-ass standards. Well, uh, we should probably get out of the maze now. <laughs> yeah. Ayano and Taro tried to get out of the maze. A few minutes have passed and the two of them were in front of the main building of Academy High School at 1.25pm. They have done a lot of things together since 1pm. Well, there's only five minutes left until class. Yeah. Awkward silence. <laughs> Thank you for making me happy this lunchtime. Oh, no problem, buddy. My week hasn't been good. People have been blaming me, strange things have been happening, but... At least you were by my side for today, Ayano. Thank you. I just hope things get better in the future. Look, don't worry. Things will get better. You just need to open your heart. And know that everything will be alright. The two students smile. Hey, Taro. You know the Underwatch game, right? An Underwatch theme park is opening tonight. Why don't we go there together? Well, I would love to go with you. I, I love the Underwatch game. <laughs> well, we'll meet each other at the theme park at 7pm, alright? Alright! Well... I'll- I'll go to class now. Bye, Ayano. Taro Yamada walks away. Oh, shit, son, we got a date! Oh, we got a date! Oh, we got a date! Oh, we got a date! We got a date! I hope everything goes well at the park. Ayano smiles and goes to her own classroom. End of chapter 2, playing around chapter 3 of the park! 7pm at the park! Oh, that music there. Oh. I can get down on this jam. Oh, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Ayano is at the Underwatch theme park waiting for Taro Yamada to come. The park is full of people. Some of them were alone, some of them with their family. Ayano wouldn't go to any attraction in the park until her senpai arrived. Even if she had to wait for 30 minutes or more, she would wait patiently. She would patiently wait because she knew the rest of her day with senpai was going to be amazing. While thinking of this, someone sends a message to Ayano on her cell phone. She turns on the cell phone and sees the message. It is from Taro Yamada. I'm going to the Underwatch theme park now. Wait for me. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. You gotta write that message there. You gotta. We already know he likes Sonic. We already know he likes Sonic. So we gotta go. Gotta go fast. You know that's the right option. You know he'll appreciate the banter. Obviously, I want to know what you guys want to put in there. But don't let me influence you with my choice. Gotta go fast. I gotta go fast, Taro! A few seconds later, Taro Yamada sends another message. Come on, come on, my boy, come through! Taro Yamada, I'm not Sonic the Hedgehog, you know? Ha <laughs> ha! He got it! He got the reference! Hayano turns off her cell phone. I think we played that real smooth. I think I should buy popcorn for me and Senpai. There's a popcorn stand right there with two guys. I should go there and pay for two bags of popcorn. Hayano goes to the popcorn stand. Good night, I would like to have two bags of popcorn. But you're alone. Why do you want two bags of popcorn? Calm down, Mike. This girl is probably buying two bags of popcorn for her and her boyfriend. But she's alone, rat. What? Eh? Let me read that again. No, definitely says my name. Mike. Ah! Booju Mike! My boy, Booju Mike! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, he's put us in the game! Stefano, my man, you humble me, sir. You absolutely humble me with the fact that you've actually- Have you given me lines? Oh, hell yeah! And that's definitely not Buju Mike's voice. I'm just gonna give him- I'm just gonna keep on going with that voice. I'm sorry, man, if you're watching this. I would butcher your accent, so I'm just gonna give you the- the-, the I think it was a pirate voice a second ago. But she's alone, Raz. Um, maybe her boyfriend didn't arrive yet. Now, the problem is, what do we answer here? He didn't arrive yet, I don't have a boyfriend. Because technically, we don't have a boyfriend, and we don't want them to- Maybe mouth off to Senpai later on, so I'm gonna say he didn't arrive yet. He hasn't arrived yet. Oh no, I pressed the wrong one! Oh, okay. And he's only a friend for now. Okay, she corrected my mistake. Woo! <laughs> Almost messed up there. Oh, for now. I like how you're confident about the fact that he will be your boyfriend in the future. And hey, Mikey! Mike, why don't we help this girl in her quest for love? Fine! L yeah, let's help her. But first, we have to introduce ourselves. Well, hey, hey, hey! I am known as Rasbowski. I can't even say my own intro. That, that's poor. Well, hey, hey, hey! I'm known as Rasbowski. And what is up? I'm also known as Biju Mike. Your nicknames are familiar. Aren't you guys YouTubers? <laughs> Oh, we're being volunteers for today in the Underwatch theme park. After all, we will win the Underwatch game for free. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, just be yourself when you talk to your friend. If he likes you, then everything will be fine. If he doesn't like you... There is always someone else. But 
I don't think he would like the person I truly am. Well, if he doesn't, then you need to know that there will always be someone else out there who likes you for who you truly are. And this is the problem. I, I don't think anyone would like the person I truly am. Well, this will be complicated. <laughs> You have two solutions. One, you could just be more confident with yourself about someone liking you. Two, you could just ignore this solution and just listen to my first solution. Just, just, just uh, don't kill anyone who likes him as well so you can have no competition. All right, baby cakes. Uh, all right then. Hello, Ayano. Ayano looks to the person who just talked to her. Oh, Tataro, hi. I see that you're buying popcorn, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, you guys are so cute together. What? Uh, Mike didn't say anything. Mike, shut up. Uh, uh, what we say here? Mike, Mike, beat you. Mike always spilling the beans. Mike, Mike didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. You must be hearing things, Taro. Yeah, man, I didn't say anything. Hey, sorry for this, Ayano. Stop speaking loud. Anyway, I really need to go to the bathroom, Ayano. I'll, I'll be right back. Taro Yumada walks away. Anyway, could you guys please give me two bags of popcorn? I asked like minutes ago. Well, take it. Rasbowski and Biju might give Ayano the two bags of popcorn and Ayano pays with her money. Oh, and uh, good luck with him, you spicy wench. Thanks. Then Ayano walks away. She stops near the entrance of the park and waits for Taro. These two guys made me realize something. Fun girl was right. Even though I'm trying to change who I am for senpai, even if he falls in love with me, he wouldn't fall in love with who I really am. I am a psychopath. I am a murderer. Just like my mother. Is this my destiny? To never be a truly normal and happy person with my senpai? Yes. Yes it is. Ayano sees a red-headed girl with red glasses wearing the Academy High School uniform in front of her. Oh shit, Info Chat is in town, baby! Ayano has never seen this girl before in Academy High School. Do I know you? That is the first thing you said when we first met. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. No, I do not. Oh, you will discover everything in the future. Just wait. The mysterious girl walks away. Meanwhile, Ayano remembers something. Do I know you? This is the same thing I said when I met... When I met Info-chan. Was that... Info? Well, thinking about this, Taro Yamada comes back. Well, I'm back! Uh, Ayano, are you alright? Oh, yeah, I am. Well then, uh, let's go to one of the attractions. Alright, Ayano gives Taro one of the two bags of popcorn she has and walks with him. Meanwhile, she's still thinking. What was Info-chan doing here? What, what was she talking about? If she was here, why didn't she reply to my messages when I needed her? Something big is coming. And I've got a bad feeling about this. End of episode one, love is beautiful. Episode two, strange things. Oh crap, chapter one, tracking down. 8th of June, 2017. 12 p.m. in America in a hotel. Now playing as Ryoba Aishi slash Yandere Chan's mother. Hell, what? Oh, this is about to get real spicy, girl. Ryoba Aishi is in her bedroom of a hotel in America with her husband. Since the end of March, she has been in America to hunt down a man known as... The journalist. In the 80s, when Ryoba Aishi was killing girls at Academy High School to be with her senpai, Japan's greatest detective, known as the journalist, found out that Ryoba was the girl murdering the other students at Academy. However, Ryoba cried and said that she wasn't, and everyone believed her. The journalist lost everything his fame, his job, and etc. Now, recently, Ryoba has seen him around Japan, and she knew that he was going to America to tell someone about Ryoba's story. Now, she and her husband are there to hunt down this journalist and kill. Kill him. Even though Ryoba's husband doesn't want to do this. Hey, wake up, my dear. It is 12 p.m. It is time to go out once again and try and track down the journalist. Ryoba's husband does not wake up. Wake up! He still doesn't wake up. Urgh. Tickle him! Scream at him, wait for him to wake up, tickle him, tickle him. Let's be banterous. Let's be banterous and go tickle that bad boy. I bet he's gonna love this. Ryoma starts to tickle her husband's feet. Fast, her husband wakes up jumping. He obviously got jump scared when Ryoba tickled him. Uh, 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 are you crazy? Oh my dear, you asked me the same thing almost 30 years ago when I tied you to a chair in the basement. Oh, nostalgia. You are so romantic. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, come on, darling. We need to go outside and track down the journalist before it's too late. Get your clothes, wear them, and let's go. 
Yep, yeah. You don't want to just pick up your clothes and stroll out into the street naked. Um, Ryoba, what is it, darling? What if this journalist is not trying to tell someone your history? What if he, he, he just wants to live? To live away from you so he can never be in danger? Hmm. You may be right, I won't let him live. Now, this is a big decision because this may have an impact on the story later on because we may be... Listen to our husband and don't go and kill his ass or we ignore him and go and kill his ass. It's gonna be good. So damn good that I'm gonna end off this episode here. You guys are gonna hate me. But the cliffhangers are kind of my signature at this point, ladies and gentlemen. But it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be totally worth it because I want you to answer down in the comment section below what you think we should do. Now, both of these choices have pros and negatives, ladies and gentlemen. Keeping him alive Maybe he will go and inform the police on us and we get locked up. Senpai finds out that our mother is crazy and then puts two and two together and finds out that we are in turn crazy as well. However, if we keep him alive, maybe Info-chan stops her plans and we get to live happily ever after with Senpai. Flip of the coin a little bit and we do go ahead and kill him, meaning that Senpai will never find out about our mother being crazy, but Info-chan will definitely follow through with their plans and maybe spoil things with Senpai as well. So... The logical answer is to kill her father and then go ahead and kill Info-chan as well. No loose ends. But either way, guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you think. Either way, though, this series is absolutely fantastic. The support, again, has been absolutely out the ass crazy. And if you guys hit 2,000 likes on this video, then tomorrow we will have another episode out. That's right, a double whammy if we get 2,000 episodes. And I don't know. <laughs> It's too easy. It's too easy. You're hitting a thousand likes within an hour, which is insane. So let's do it again. You got my back. I'll see you tomorrow for more. I've been Rasbowski. You've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.